my favorite. <laughs> That's sweet. But let's try that old reference again. How's it? This is Mundo, and check it out. I have a Yamaha Silent Guitar Series SLG 200 S, and this is the natural uh, finish. Of course, it has no body. Super light. I think it's a little more than four pounds. And um, yeah, these are my first impressions. Uh, amazingly, it feels good. Fits fits nice here. Um, I haven't tried it with the strap yet. Super easy via the stra uh, case you see back here to travel with. Um, that's nice. Uh, it's right off the bat, I'm thinking if you're an electric guitarist, uh, professional guitarist, and you're doing a fly-out gig, maybe sometimes there's an acoustic section in your band set, and um, they would requisition you a, an acoustic guitar for whatever city you land in. Sometimes those acoustic guitars aren't the best and for you to execute not so easy this would be a solution I would totally travel with this um, take your electric guitar take this I'm good to go and you can have the guitar set up the way you want uh, you saw that the upper bout come, came off and uh, just looking at it, it looks like mahogany rosewood maybe maple here and the top bout comes off so really nice Check out this battery compartment, two double A's, really uh, well designed and thought out. But if your batteries run out, you do have power in, DC power in over here. And uh, I'm not familiar with this, I didn't show you this on the unboxing. You have an aux in here as well, so if you wanted to practice, uh, plug in your iPhone via an adapter using a stereo mini plug and play along with your tracks. So that's a good, quiet way to practice. Here are the controls. Hopefully you can see them. I'll take a picture if not. If not, you got power, tuner, we'll check that out. Uh, you have your pickup and then you have your mic. Um, this is like a blend. The SRT pickup or technology is studio response technology. It's basically you're blending in authentic samples. Kind of like the IR convolution uh, technology. Check that out. Treble and bass. And then you have uh, aux volume. Then you have three sets of, um, or three different types of effects. You have two different reverbs and a chorus. We'll check that out. Volumes here and headphones. How cool is that? Especially if you're doing that silent practicing, plug your aux in, have your aux volume and then um, headphones there and you're good to go. Great travel guitar as well. What I like about travel guitars first and foremost is I want a real neck. So this has it. This is really comfortable. Um, neck scale is 25. 25 inches kind of uh, for us electric guitarists kind of in between a Strat and a Gibson Les Paul if that gives you any kind of perspective. Um, it feels like a, a very comfortable C-neck if I, yeah, let's just listen to it. So, unplugged, there is a little sound. It's not completely silent, right? Even that's enough to practice with. Sitting here, the whole guitar feels pretty resonant, which is nice. Um, I would be happy just like that. Take it to the beach. Wouldn't hear it so much with all the ambient noise, but still a great way to practice and you got a real neck. So, let's plug it in. And get the amp set at flat. Back here is our quarter inch input. 
That's it. And is it on? I didn't think it was on. Maybe I already pressed it. Let's try. I'm going to push this uh, power button on. Oh, looks like I... Look, it looks like it was on, so... Now it's off. Turn it back on. Alright, so right now I have the blend and the mic straight up in, uh, I have the pickup and the mic, I'm blending equally. Check it, check it out. Really nice. I have the amp set at flat. I have these treble and bass set at flat. Right there, if you can see that. Uh, let's just go full pickup. Paizo pickup right here. Let's try the mic. I think that would be the full samples. Oh, by the way, we have the reverb on, so let's turn it all the way off. And that was full mic, full pickup. So I'm thinking while I'm playing, um, Paizo's nice, but the Paizo gives you that, you know, Paizo sound. It's very good. But check this out, if I blend it halfway up and down. acoustic it's really nice feels great um i guess you got to try it to to believe me but that feels great super smart guitar um like i said treble and bass is flat straight up and down i get the volume around two o'clock feels loud enough um i almost think sounds really nice and warm here. I almost think it's a little too much bass. I'm going to back up on the bass. You know, we have to uh, trim it to the room, right? Yeah, just... That's more of an applicable, applicable situation. Boy, for in-ears, this would be great because you could use this mic, get no feedback, you know, blending it in, um, really nice. Uh, you wouldn't get any, um, you wouldn't have to cover your sound hole in a live situation. Nothing's coming in the guitar uh, that that was unwanted noise or unwanted um, vocal or bass or drum signal going into your guitar mic. So this is very smart for in-ears. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to be using this for in the Mystere show. That's the next step. I have one more thing to say. Oh! If you were recording with the singer, you could take a line out, go straight into your computer or into the house and put a mic up for the singer and, you know, so the singer would be singing. And with a directional mic, this most likely wouldn't get too much in her or his mic. And then in post-production, you could blend that acoustic guitar back in and treat it. Um, separately and EQ it separately and as well and mix it with the vocals. Nice idea. I could be singing and uh, the guitar would be quiet even though it would be recording I guess. I don't know, we have to think about that. Uh, yeah, no speakers. I could turn the, turn the volume up, turn the volume down on my recording device so I don't hear it in the monitors. That'd be really nice. Okay, 
There. So that's dry. Sounds pretty good. You know, it sounds like your dry acoustic guitar in your room. But if you want to add some reverb, here's the first reverb. Uh, I'll play the same thing. Uh, no, I'll play something different. First reverb. kind of a short reverb it, it seems. You know what? We forgot to look at the tuner. The thing came shipped to me in tune. <laughs> so there's a tuner. So the tuner mutes the signal. You can see that. And it's really nice that it is so quick. I hate slow tuners. Yeah, really responsive. Very cool. So, let's see. Came right back. So that is the first reverb. Try a second reverb. <laughs> Big. We haven't checked out the chorus yet. Move it to chorus. So this chorus is a chorus alone. Yeah, maybe not for single notes, but Try that old reference again. <laughs> That's great. A lot of fun. Yeah, this is this would be great for a, a beginner. This would be great for a practice guitar. Um, honestly, I think it's great for a professional. There's so much application. So I'm really impressed with this. Go back to my favorite guy here. This neck is really comfortable for some really uh for gripping chords. I didn't try to really shred on this, but uh, the spacing is really comfortable. So sometimes you have like an electric guitar and you're trying to use your right hand finger. Picking, it's just too tight and you're bumping all over the place and even some um, some steel strings make smaller scale necks have the same problem you need some room for your fingers and I got it here so if I was gonna shred first time on the guitar okay I'm super excited about this guitar. The SLG 200S. This is the natural finish. Just my first impressions. Um, by the way, this is a screw behind the behind the nut or behind the uh, strap pin. This is how you screw the upper bout on. I think I would just keep looking at that in a professional situation. But rock and roll, rock and roll. Here we go. So this is Mundo. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. I love making these videos and hopefully they help out. Let me know. And uh, until next time, aloha.